Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the California, of, the California University of Science and Medicine graduation ceremony for the MBS class of 2022. Let's just savor this moment for, for just a second. Such smiling faces, all the best that humanity has to offer. Friends, family, and the reward for due diligence and incredibly hard work. We could not be proud of this group of remarkable individuals. They worked consistently hard and plowed through this difficult and challenging curriculum and have now arrived at a point where they will be rewarded for their labor and better prepared for their next leg of their professional journey. We're certain that each member of this class will go forward and represent our institution exceedingly well. And on behalf of CUSM's Board of Trustees, faculty, and staff, we offer you our heartfelt congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome MBS Class 2020 alum, Caitlin Grace San Diego, who will join us and sing our national anthem. sing the national anthem for us today. I'm Linda Conley and I'm the director for the Master of Biomedical Sciences program here at CUSM. And we're here today to celebrate our students, soon to be graduates. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the many people who work to deliver the MBS program, allowing us to support our students up to this day. Thank you to the faculty who teach our classes and spend many hours outside of class assisting the students, not just with coursework, but in mentoring, in research, assisting them in their career development. Thank you also to our staff, some of whom have joined us today for medical education and assessment, student affairs and admissions, IT and information commons, financial aid, accreditation, and many other offices that support us here at CUSM. I really appreciate your hard work and your commitment to our students. It's truly a pleasure to get to work with you all. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the core team that have organized today's ceremony. Belinda Taylor Bachelor, Lisette Prado, Evelyn Kobian, Kristen Diaz from Admissions and Student Affairs, Wafa Atamna, our safety officer, 
uh, Jessica Mendez from IT and our MBS program coordinator Jamila Wilson. Today there are a couple of team members that I have the honour to specifically recognise. So at the end of each semester I send out a poll to the MBS students and I ask them to select a faculty member to be recognised with a Teaching Excellence Award. The MBS students chose Dr. Jun Lin Ling to receive this award for the, for the fall semester and they chose Dr. Ozzy Zhang to receive the awards for the spring semester. Doctors Ling and Zhang, can you please come forward to get certificates of recognition? second time we've been able to hold a live graduation ceremony. We had to send home our class of 2020 at spring break to finish the remainder of the program online and we taught our class of 2021 entirely online. When we were planning for this year's ceremony we reached out to the graduates of the classes of 2020 and 2021 who had video graduations and asked if they would like to join us today, either as guests or to walk in the ceremony. I'm excited to say that a small number were able to be here. So just now, I'd like to ask our MBS graduates from the classes of 2020 and 2021 to please stand so we can recognize you. And our only second live ceremony. Although we've been back to face-to-face -face teaching this year, it's still been far from a regular academic year. Many of our students, colleagues, their families and their friends have got sick and our clinical faculty colleagues as well as a number of today's graduates have had roles providing health care on the front line of the pandemic. Regular life for us all has continued to be disrupted and this has taken a lot of extra energy and effort. However, what makes today truly remarkable is that despite the challenges, the class of 2022 has not just completed the MBS program, they've been extremely successful in this endeavour. In a moment, we'll recognise some of our students with Academic Achievement Awards. These are given to our students graduating with the highest GPA in the class. We'll be given seven of these awards today, a new record for our programme. And then we call for nominations from the class to select Leadership Award winners. And again, we got a lengthy list for this. Um, vote. And we'll hear from two students that were selected by their classmates to receive this honour, but it's clear there are many leaders in this group. There are also things that contributed to the success of this class that we don't formally recognise, but I observe throughout the year. The students who formed study groups and spent long hours in the study rooms and the classrooms writing on the whiteboards, I've never had to have so many whiteboard pens replaced throughout the year. Um, but they helped each other learn the concepts. The students 
who asks questions in class that helps clarify information for everyone. The students that always attend office hours, shouting out to Cereal and Emily with the Y, <laughs> um, to make sure that you'd really understood the information. And of course, the students who emailed to check, is this going to be on the exam? <laughs> Um, through these efforts and continually working hard, despite everything going on around them, this has allowed the class to excel and arrive here at today's ceremony. Another thing that stands out about this class is that half of today's graduates are residents of the Inland Empire, in line with the mission and vision of CUSM to educate health professionals to serve this region and this is something that we're extremely proud to be part of. I'd like to conclude by congratulating each of you on graduating with your master's degree. It is truly a privilege to be the director of the MBS program and play just a small part in helping you on your career journey. I wish you the best for the future and I look forward to hearing the many great things that you all are going to achieve. It is now my pleasure to introduce our main speaker for today's ceremony, our Dean for the School of Medicine and Interim President of CUSM, Dr. Paul Lyons. Good morning. seriously good-looking group of human beings I have to say you all look nice as well welcome friends family invited guests including our special invited guests from the class of 2020 and class of 2021 faculty staff and especially the CUSM MBS class of 2022 You in the class of 2022 are the first graduates ever to celebrate this milestone moment right here in our beautiful permanent home that reflects the dream and the vision of our founder, Dr. Prem Reddy. Just for the record, you get to do this before the MD students. You really are first. It's commencement season everywhere which means that this may very well be not the only celebration that you all attend this time of year. Graduation, commencement, promotion, at every level from kindergarten through graduate school. We gather to recognize and celebrate the remarkable achievements of our children, our siblings, our cousins, our friends, and our neighbors. This moment is filled, if you are like me, with memories and reflections, as such important moments often are. Given my role, I've been to my fair share of graduations over the years, as I suspect you have also. And there are two things that I know are true about every graduation. First, every single person walking in every single ceremony has a unique and special journey that is worth celebrating. A journey that they may share with others at times, but which in the end is really theirs and theirs alone. And it reflects the unique human being they are at that moment. And the promise of the astonishing things that they will do in their life ahead. Second, no one, and I mean no one, ever remembers what the commencement speaker said. I've been thinking about this a little bit because I'm traveling to Ohio in a couple of weeks to watch my own daughter graduate from college. Her commencement speaker is a Nobel Prize winner. I'm a little intimidated. 
A brilliant thinker, I'm sure his thoughts will be profound. And I suspect no one will remember what he said either. <laughs> but I've been thinking about what I wish commencement speakers said in these moments, and what I wish graduates would hear, and what I wish and hope they would remember. So here it is. One, you are amazing. Everyone in this audience is biased, to be sure. But we all know this to be true. All of you collectively and each of you individually are here because you've done the work. You've pushed and you've run and you've fallen and you've risen. You've struggled and more than one of you have cried. You have almost certainly doubted, but in the end, you triumphed, and here you are. Doubt no more, you are all amazing. Number two, you're brave. It's easy, I think, when you reach this kind of a moment to forget how easy it would have been not to be here. It takes a special kind of bravery to do more to reach for more, to believe in more, and in the end, to achieve more. Less is easy, more is brave. And you, you are brave. Third, you are stronger, much stronger than you think. Again, everyone here, we're a little biased, and we admit it. But I think I speak for all of us when I say that we, all of us here, are in awe. In awe of your grit and your resilience, your perseverance, your strength. You can move mountains. And if you ever doubt it, remember, we do not doubt it, because we've See you do it. You are stronger than you think. And the last thing that I wish every graduate would hear and remember is that today and every day, you're just beginning. It's almost a cliche, really, right? Every commencement speaker points out that you're not at graduation, you're at commencement, and starting something new. And it's true, because they mark not the end of the phase, but really the beginning of the next. So it is true, not just today, but every single day. And that's what I would have you remember. It's true, not just today, but every single day. Each day is the beginning of what will come, of what you will become. Each day is a chance to be brave and strong, amazing, and to start again. You are brave. You are stronger than you think. You are amazing. Right at this moment, and you're just beginning. That's what I wish every graduate everywhere could hear, because it's important. And that's what I wish every graduate everywhere would believe, because it's true. And that is what I wish every graduate everywhere would remember, because we will always remember you, MBS class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, they're amazing. my really only important job, which is to say that I'm now handing it over to two of the MBS faculty members, Farah Masood and Jun Ling, who will acknowledge the students who served on committees.
morning. And another good morning to you guys are your graduates now, rather than sitting in a classroom with us lecturing you. So proud of each one of you. I had a chance to graduate my daughter yesterday, and I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that I am just as proud of each one of you as I was yesterday with my own daughter. So congratulations again. So now I have a script here to read. So let me do that. Um, it is our pleasure today to recognize the MBS students who have served on committees throughout the academic year. Eric Gomez and Bernice Alizararas served on the Graduate Curriculum Committee. Melissa Kamari served on the Assessment and Evaluation Committee. And Kelsey Salas served on the Safety Committee. So congratulations to all of you for serving the school. So now let's congratulate all of you again. And uh, I wanted to and announce and uh, Monica and Gerges and Jokobuk and uh, Fabley and uh, uh, the MBS and MD liaison and Carla Demerging and also Jezra and Relenting and serves on the Students' Honor Council. All of the students we have named also serve as a member of our MBS Student Council. We now invite all of our committee representatives to please step up to the stage to receive your certificates of recognition. Congratulations to everyone. Achievement Awards. The Academic Achievement Awards are given to the MBA students graduating with the highest GPAs in their class. <laughs> this year, in year 2022, the awards goes to the following students. The each student come forward when I pronounce your name, please. So Monica Gorgas.
Nguyen. Ivan Oropesa. Congratulations to all of them one more time. Uh, we'll now hand over to our colleagues, faculty member Vanessa Ochoa and the MBS program coordinator Jamela Wilson to present the Professionalism and Leadership Awards. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jamila. So, at the end of the spring semester, I asked you all to nominate your, two of your colleagues who stood out in terms of leadership and professionalism. From these nominees, I then asked the class to vote to select two students to receive the awards. The class of 2022 has chosen Jacob Afable <laughs> and Ruiz Elisararas as recipients of the Leadership and Professionalism Awards. Congratulations to Jacob and Bernice. Please come up to receive your certificates of recognition. Jacob Afable. How incredible! <laughs> How incredible is it to be congregated together for the first time in person in a very long time? To the MBS class of 2022, thank you so much for electing us. From the bottom of our hearts, this is very special. To family and friends in attendance, and to those watching from home, 
You should be incredibly proud of your graduate, for this past year has been nothing short of a challenging, yet very rewarding journey. To my beautiful class, I love y'all. Look at us now. <laughs> 10 months later, we have accomplished so much as a cohort. I've met amazing individuals who balance full-time jobs, raising families, part-time jobs, or people who just dedicated their whole time to our program and excel. It's really amazing because you, we've all invested into our greatest investment, which is ourselves. And I'm super grateful for all the love. I've met so many amazing individuals and I'm excited to see all of us thrive. Let's not forget our MBS instructors. Can we please get a round of applause for them? Dr. Connolly, we're going to dearly miss Finley and Poppy pictures. Dr. Ochoa, thank you for sharing a little piece of your knowledge from neuroscience, and uh, thank you for making us better scientific writers. Dr. Zhang, thank you for introducing us to the world of microbes, and thank you for being so kind and funny. Dr. Park, thank you for being an example of what a strong, brilliant woman is, and thank you for encouraging us to always study hard. <laughs> Dr. Lee, thank you for teaching us how to pay attention to your very <laughs> Last but certainly not least, Professor Masood, thank you for molding us into the little researchers of our dreams. Thank you, thank you. And of course, I have to thank our beautiful schools, USM. Thank you so much for choosing us and being very pivotal, I can personally say we've all grown, like personally, academically, professionally. And thank you for having the faith and giving us this opportunity. Um, even personally, um, I was in a very low part in my life, in my medical journey, until I was selected to be in this program and I got to meet people who helped lift me up, helped remind me that, you know, this journey is very beautiful and there's ups and downs, but this school really brought the best in all of us, so thank you. I'd like them to thank my family and friends that have supported me all throughout this journey. I love you guys. Um, <laughs> and lastly, but most importantly, I do want to thank my beautiful daughter, April, who's in the crowd joining us here. why I do anything in this life. You motivate me to be a better person and you taught me what it's like to love somebody unconditionally. I'm so proud to be your mother and I love you both. I'm truly blessed and thankful to God for just bringing me here to meet all brilliant um, colleagues and brilliant professors, faculty, staff. Thank you mom and dad for teaching me how to be resilient and to push through. To my landlords, Tito uh, Cressy, Tito Rocky, thank you for feeding me. And even though I stay here like all the time, you always have food ready for me at home. Thank you so much. My hot design, including Jeff and my church back home. Thank you for all the prayers. I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful for all of you. I love you guys. You are the future of healthcare. <laughs>
Chiara Estrella. Manuel Carrillo.
Wilson Barnett. Christina Barsoon. Yeah. 
Emmer Jebshek. Liam J. Lato Nguyen. Santoshi Nambi. Mariela Cambria Martinez. Amy Lee. Rino 
strong. Patrick Trump. Visakan Ram Sivapalan. Amanda Ariel Sagato. Kesley Salas. Jezra Relente. Archina Rao. Crystal Eunice Padilla. Ijeoma Merigidi.
Virginia Villanueva. Luz Clara Velasco. Gentlemen, the class of 2022. Or at least it will be in one more sentence. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the CUSM faculty, I declare you as graduates of the Master of Biomedical Sciences program. For all of our guests, thank you so much for attending. The ceremony would not have been the same today without your presence. As we conclude and our graduates process out, we ask that you please remain seated for about five minutes while the graduates take a group photo, and then you can join in the chaos right along with the rest of us. Thank you so much for joining us today, and once again, congratulations.